more questions? I don't have questions. Oh, good. There's, I don't think any questions. I mean, Just we know each other kind of enough. I feel like we're, right. I feel comfortable. I'm also not afraid to dive into the deep end. Yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> um, you know, so timer. Ready, set, go. 20 minutes. Ready. And I start. Yay. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm well. Are you, are you good? Um, I like to say I'm good, okay. but I feel like that's a generic answer. Sure. What's bothering you? Um, my lack of motivation. Lack of motivation. In life. In life. See, so you know how people say, like, when you're in your mid-20s, it's like a life crisis? Okay. Well, that's like a midlife crisis, but like a quarter life crisis. Yeah. That's me. Sure. That's my life. I have bad news for you. It gets worse. Oh, great. <laughs> Before it gets better. Great. That's nice. No, I get that because I just turned 30 in February uh -huh. and I, for some reason, I don't know why, but like for some reason, I thought there was like this ticking time bomb. So then, but like, it just makes no, it makes no I know. logical sense why it does. But then when I hit 30, I was so busy just working on that movie, but, uh, I felt like I was boring and I like relearned everything. I just feel like I'm a new person. And it's not because I hit some time frame, but it was more because I just asked myself more honest questions. And I was like, what what am I doing? With my life? Yeah. What do I want to do? What is the purpose? And I just kept keep asking myself why, why, why? Mm -hmm. And for some reason I just feel I'm okay with like being it's funny my 20s i spent most of my 20s w trying to prove people i know what i'm doing and now that i'm 30 i have no fucking clue what i'm doing with my life but do you feel like you know what you're doing no oh but do you feel better about it i feel that i'm being honest about it okay and then i think that's that's i think that's half the battle i'm yeah. not gonna lie to you and pretend i'm something i'm not true I'm like hey i can figure it out yeah um what's what's the lack of motivation do you think it's because of the pandemic is it because you had a reset no i just feel like i know exactly like what i want to do but i have no clue how to get there okay. so instead of like figuring it out i'm just like eh, it'll happen but what do you enjoy more do you enjoy the journey or do you enjoy the end result i think i get self-conscious when people like ask what i want to do or what i do and i have nothing to show for it okay. So it's like, I like the journey, but I wish it was more like when I see people like you're working all the time, you just are out there doing it. Like, I want to do that too. I just okay. want to be out like shooting the shit, like doing whatever I want. Okay. But like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, how, how do I do that? So does that bother you? Yeah. Because what's, why is it, is it a social standard? Is it your own standard? Is it pressure that your family puts on you? Um, not family for sure. My family's probably like the most supportive of me, but definitely social myself. Like I know I could do more, so it's like, why aren't you doing it then? So when, let's let's backtrack your whole life, right? Yeah. What's the first feeling for fulfillment? When did you think you comprehended what fulfillment meant? That's Was it through good question. what? I don't know. I don't really know you prior. Yeah. Super well. I mean, we worked a couple times together, but like that first feeling of fulfillment that you're like, oh, maybe I want this. This is a good feeling. Yeah. I think. I mean, definitely in this like. Uh, area of my life I guess performing my senior year I did an all-state show and anyone from Illinois could audition when you're in high school and it was like a musical but it was more of like a upscale not upscale but a professional level how you rehearsed and the performance and everything and I was just like you know what I'm gonna just do it and I auditioned and I made it and like I know I'm not the best singer. I could sing, I could dance, but I know I'm not like the greatest, not going to be on Broadway. I mostly wanted to do acting, but I made it and I was so shocked. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, wait, I could actually do this. And when I actually started and was like performing with these people, it was a different sense of belonging, I guess. And that's what I knew because I used to do theater. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't want to do theater. I want to do film. I want to be on camera. I want to perform. But I'd say being on that stage and having people, 
I mean, people were blown away by that performance and like that feeling of putting on something that people just like loved so much was like the best feeling in the world. So I would say that was probably the first time that I was like, damn. Yeah. Who you're, what are you obsessed with right now? Like, what is Maddie obsessed with? Do anything. Give me ice lattes. Ice lattes. Hundred percent. Ice lattes. <laughs> These are a certain places you like. Um, I got an espresso machine, so I think I make a pretty good one. Um, but any like small coffee shop makes the best ice lattes. Okay. And what's like perfect? What do you like about it? Just the ratio. The ratio has got to be enough coffee. I don't want a milkshake. I don't want a glass of milk. I don't want oat milk. I don't want almond milk. I just want regular ass milk, cow's milk. Do you think all... modeling makes you more insecure or gives you more confidence? Because um, modeling on a surface, a everyone question. thinks it's like you get stared because you're either attractive or you're stuck yeah. selling something. I remember, because when I first gave one of models, like, me, the fuck? I'm like, I have my mother's yeah. hips, I can't do that shit. <laughs> and then I started realizing, like, oh, I was like, oh, I feel like I found more, more insecurities. And I work people like, no, I'm just confident in it. Yeah. So I agree with that. And I think. Um, when you think of it as, oh, let me just smile pretty and look perfect, that's when I'm like, I look horrible. Mm -hmm. But the times where I just completely let go and you see yourself in kind of a vulnerable state or mm -hmm. a weird position, people are like, oh, like, even when we did that one shoot, we're like, do this, jump around, do that. You feel stupid, but it looks cool and it looks... I mean, it's just you, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And you can't look at yourself being authentic and yeah. <laughs> hate I, yourself I, for it. I mean, you can, but... Yeah. Um, so yeah, you I like being vulnerable. I do. You do? Why? I well, I'm a Pisces for sure. I don't think that means much. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, just like emotional, deep conversations and just being able to strip down to nothing. Mm -hmm. But it's hard. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's the rewarding part of it. Is if you could figure out how to do that, then I mean, what else could you ask for in life? Think, okay, so let me ask you this: What do you compare yourself to? Like person-wise, or person? Do you what do you? Do you I, we, I think we all compare ourselves to stuff. And early in my career, I used to compare myself to other people, and that's where I realized I was lacking the authentic, authenticity, the honesty mm -hmm. within. And I started realizing in the last few years, I keep comparing myself to the old me, and what strides I make. Interesting. And that's just me being more aware, having the conversation with myself, answering myself. Don't care how crazy I sound. So, do you, what do you compare yourself to? Do you compare yourself to people you work with right now at this point in your life? Um, like you mentioned earlier, you see people being busy on the internet, blah, 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 blah. Because the internet is, is an illusion. Oh, yeah. So. No, not necessarily that, because I feel like I've grasped the reality versus the highlights of people's life mm -hmm. on social media. But I think I like to compare myself to, I don't know, it's like the future me that's not even okay. a thing yet. Like, who I want to be. Okay. And I picture myself... Like living this life that is not mine, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I don't know. And I guess like that is pulled from other people because like how would I really know what that is if I didn't see other people doing it? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll see like specific people in my life that have just like built a life for themselves, a career for themselves out of nothing, mm -hmm. and they're busy and they are needed by this person and they have to be there at that time and there's just like no stop and go. Mm -hmm. And they'll look at me like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a day to just like lay in bed. I'm like, I wish I had so much to do that I couldn't even see my bed. Like, oh. I don't know. But I mean, you always want what you can't have.
she wrote. That's all she wrote. 20, 20, 20 minutes, minutes flies. Flies. All right, I'm going to end it on one question, yeah. right? You said you're a Pisces. If you could be any sign, what would you be? A Pisces. A Pisces? 100%. I'm a Pisces till I die. I love everything about a Pisces. <laughs> Wouldn't trade that for a world. Sweet.